Angel star Albert Pujols is using his fame to address a serious issue in this country. Yeah, he and his wife are raising awareness about human sex trafficking. KCL 9's Jeff Wynn is live in Anaheim with the details. Hey, Jeff. Hey guys, so there was a baseball game here tonight and Nick Jonas is performing right now, but for Albert Pujols and his wife, the centerpiece of tonight was educating their neighbors in Orange County about a problem that's happening everywhere. Tonight, fireworks lit up the night sky over Angel Stadium, but future Hall of Famer Albert Pujols and his wife Deidre want to draw your attention. To something else. And the reality is like more slavery exists on the planet now than ever before in history. She's talking about human sex trafficking, which affects more than 40 million victims worldwide. In the United States, the estimate is well over 400,000. Albert says it was Deidre who's educated him on this. I didn't know the problem that this big issue that's happening, you know, globally and, you know, in our backyard too. Backyard is right. Look at this map that shows just how pervasive the problem is right outside Angel Stadium. That is why the couple formed an organization called Strikeout Slavery, which sponsored a resource fair before tonight's game. For the second year in a row, the idea was to connect families with groups like the Orange County Human Trafficking Task Force. Stacy Jewell will tell you she was sold for sex after she was abducted at a bus stop. We won't let our nine-year-olds and our five-year-olds go down the street and walk to school by ourselves. We, we're going to monitor that, but now monitor the social media, monitor the engagement. Experts say change will only happen when we re-examine what it means to be a man and eliminate the appetite for illicit sex. To be empathetic human beings in the world and to see women in a respectful lens, not as objects to be used for our own self-gratification and sexual pleasure. As families walk through a number of resource booths, kids were treated to fun activities activities like face painting as a start to a conversation over something Deidre Pujols says we can no longer turn a blind eye. We need people to hear the different capacities that this is happening so they can be aware. And not only is strikeout slavery in its second year, but it expanded last month by partnering with the Washington Nationals. Reporting live in Anaheim, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.